Hi everyone, welcome back here in Disneyland Paris. Welcome back on my channel. I'm so, so, so excited and I'm counting down every single day up to this moment because today is our first day here in the renewed Disneyland hotel, but also a very special, special stay because we booked three days in the exclusive Castle Club. So I can't wait to share my experience about the Castle Club together with you. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Oh, wow. Here we are. Finally, we waited four years to see this lobby again and it's completely remodeled. Oh wow, it's so impressive over here, the great chandelier, completely out of crystal with the castle in the middle and then the completely remodeled lobby. We will have a closer look on that one later on. Um, I'm going to make a separate video of it, but there are so many details in it, as you can see, it's the setup is like a library filled with books. There's so much detail in this lobby. So there is the reception desk. People already checking in to enjoy this great experience. And of course here, this one, the giant stairway up to the formal Café Fantasia and the restaurants on the second floor is so cool. Flowers and here it is. We stay in the Castle Club during our three day stay here in Disneyland Paris and during our stay here at the Disneyland Hotel. And the Castle Club is uh, the entrance of the Castle Club. You can enter it from the second floor or of course you can take the elevator over there um, but in my case of course no I'm not going to take the elevator we go by stairs because there's so much to see in this hotel here we go oh wow this is such a great view So Sophie and Laura are already to the Castle Club reception desk together with the cast member. So they are waiting there for me. Over here, we can have a view on the park's entrance. What a great place this is. Have a look guys. I have to say, Disneyland Paris really did, in Imagineering, really did a great job on this hotel. It was before, it was a Victorian style, and now they changed it to a royal, a real royal style, a royal welcome with all the princesses. This is amazing. Okay, let's go upstairs. Here's the library filled with books. There is so much detail also in this one. Uh, but also for here, uh, we are going to make a separate video because when you are going closer, you can see the private mouse detective. It's one of the books. And there are so many Easter eggs in this one. The, the Petit Poisson Rouge, Chef Louis from the Little Mermaids movie. Like I told you, there is so much detail in this library. So many Easter eggs, so much to discover, but that's for another video. Okay, let's go over here.
people are already lining up to enter the park. It just opened for the extra magic time. Also in our hotel, it's already quite busy. This is a great spot for having your picture. You can, just like a real royal, you can sit on the throne and having some nice pictures on this. Can I call it a photo location? Yes, okay. okay. Of course, all the nice statues that you can buy over here, but the biggest one is the Great Crystal Castle, but I don't know uh, where it is. Oh, there it is. Let's have a view on this one. Cool. Here it is, but no price. Three sur demande. So you have to ask the price at the cost member, but no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I have an idea about the price of this one and it's way too expensive. So the hotel shop is over here, the Royal Taylor Salon and there is the entrance of the Royal Collecting Boutique. So that's the shop and over there, that's the place where um, it's a place where you can have the Royal Dream Makeover, the Royal Dream Experience. Also, that's on our list and we're going to make a separate video of that one. And also the shop will be a separate video. Uh, in detail, we are going to give you an overview of all the merchandise. Okay. Over there are the two restaurants uh, and the Fleur de Lis bar. Um, but that's for later. First things first, here is the Castle Club entrance. With a phone, you can pick up the phone and you are in contact with the reception desk. But I already have my magic pass, so I can take one of these elevators. So, here we are. As I remember from last time, that's that Castle Club has a separate check-in and reception desk, so you don't have to queue. On the other one, there is a separate one just for you. Look at this. This is a view from the Castle Club floor. All rooms are over there. And of course, there's a second level with rooms on the Castle Club. There are two types of, two types of rooms. Um, the first one has a view at um, the Fantasia Garden. The second ones uh, are, of course, with park view, with or without balcony. Wow. This view is awesome. The chef is preparing the breakfast, but that's something for tomorrow so this is your private reception desk you can just check in here very quiet getting all the information you want to have about your talent they are here 24 7 of course you can reach them by phone or just hopping by over here Let's have a look. Let's have a look on this floor. Some exclusive souvenirs. Also here, ask a cast member for the price. And that says more than enough. That means that it's really expensive. Look at Cinderella's dress. Also here the pumpkin carriage, nice. 
بر بیست روز This is also a very nice one. It's a Elsa. This is the Castle Club Lounge. So uh, we just arrived and we are serving breakfast right now. And in the Castle Club, you can have your breakfast together with the princesses. But that's for another video. That's something for tomorrow. Um, in the afternoon, in the afternoon up to late at night, uh, I think they are closing at 11 or 11.30, uh, you can have some snacks and free soda and drinks over here. Hi, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> so this is such a nice floor and the bar is still closed. It opens at uh, 11 o'clock. And there is La Table de Lumière, we are also going to do that. And just here, the other side, there is um, the Royal Banquet. And that's also something that's on our list. So, we have room 2407. But our room is not on this floor. Our room is... Um, a higher level over here. Okay. No, we are going by stairs. We are not going to take the elevator. Oh. It's just one level, you know. So, here we are. The view gets better even better and look here look at the ceiling they painted blue it was white before and some people have something like hey that's way too dark but I'm okay with that it's it has something cozy it has something it has something warm in it so I like it I know most of them most of people most of the people on uh, forums and social media have something like ah no what did they do it's ugly but i like it so our rooms are over here and i'm gonna just have a little walk This place is filled with so many nice details, collectibles. Also this one, look. An iconic scene from the Cinderella movie. Nice area where you can sit and relax great flowers oh it looks like this is something they still have from cafe fantasia i'm not sure but uh, i can't remember it but maybe this was here before <laughs> this is one of the elements that uh, survived the makeover This is the entrance to the Beauty and the Beast suite. Of course, we can not enter uh, that one. But look, oh, cool. It's a very nice element from the movie. It's really cool. And at the same level, we also have the entrance to the former Cinderella suite, but it's now the Frozen suite from uh, Elsa and Anna with a beautiful view on the park. Uh, we can get in because do not disturb. And I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna take the risk to ring this bell, <laughs> no way. But 
this is a very nice suite with castle view and also a very expensive one i think it's 10 or 12 thousand euro to spend one night in there cinderella slipper and this is the way to our room our room is over there welcome in our room we were welcomed by the disneyland hotel with this nice bottle of champagne and two glasses and a box of chocolates which is in this book and here it is our castle club room look at this a great room very large one with a king size bed and there is also a third bed which is under the television what you see right now over here is no mirror but the television and under it there is a bed which uh, which you can pull out and oh of course when you want to make yourself a very nice coffee here you have a coffee machine and everything you need to uh, make yourself a nice coffee or a tea it's a little honey jars and of course the castle club logo is literally everywhere some uh, cups and glasses over here but there is no logo from the Disneyland Hotel on this and I guess they know why because uh, yeah, people will steal it otherwise and put it on Vinted. Uh, this is a very nice touch in the room, the Rapunzel mirror with Rapunzel's hair on the frame and you can also buy it in the shop if you want. It's available over there in the hotel shop. Extra USB ports, of course, and very nice Castle Club booklet. And Mickey, Mickey together with some kind of game, I guess. And of course, our room is with park view. Look at this. Uh, we have no balcony um, and we were not able to open the window, but we were able to enjoy a very nice view. And here's the bathroom. As you can see, everything is in it also shower makeup towels very nice very clean some great products like body lotion offered by the disneyland hotel soap a very large shower um, with also rain shower as you can see and here's the toilet, not that interesting, but just to know that there is one. And here's Sebastian, what a great detail on the mirror next to the shells. Great detail from the Little Mermaid movie. The details are literally everywhere in the room. That's uh, very nice, this one. And here we have some slippers from the Castle Club. Very nice uh, slippers, one for each of us, and here we have a sewing kit and all the stuff you find in a four-star hotel. And of course, there's a save in the room. This is empty, extra storage. Another view on this great room, and also from the other side, what you can see over there is our television, not the mirror, but the television. And here, this is cool. This is a switch and when you push the switch, some magical sequence is starting, light is going on above your bed and you will see some sparkling lights in uh, Snow White's painting. Don't know if you can see it on the video, but there, there, there they are. Very nice twinkling lights, a magical effect just when you push the switch and the colors above your bed are changing. So magical. Quite a room now. Here it is, the Castle Club Lounge. So in the morning they are serving breakfast over here, but uh, in the afternoon, starting at four o'clock, uh, you can have a little buffet here with some snacks. And of course you can drinks, uh, you can have drinks all day long. And for the uh, alcohol you have to pay, but all the sodas and coffees are for free. What a great place now. And I really love the decoration of this place. 
so let's have a little walk around there are five different castles in this place so they are all um, mirrors uh, over over the place um, so first one this one here is the one from Beauty and the Beast it's very beautiful so it's, it's a mirror with the castle in front of it it's so well done then more downstairs it is really a great place more downstairs we have a second castle which is the one from Cinderella and then on the other side of the lounge we go over here there you have the third castle and that's the one from uh, Elsa from Arundel's, Arundel's castle, but we'll have a closer look when uh, the buffet is open later on. And here is castle number four, fourth castle, and this one is the one from uh, my favorite. This is the one from Rapunzel. And when we are going closer to the castle, you can see the little Rapunzel flower in there. Wonderful. And our fifth castle. Wow, that's just over here. Sleeping Beauty's castle. What a view, no? Again. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at the buffet it just opened. So the little charts with the hazelnut pasta. It's uh, this part is quite the same as the breakfast buffet we had this morning. So little pancakes. Then over here we have some quiches. I'll say it. Small pizza pastas. And all oh, this is for free. And you can just take some. Here we have the honey. You can just take it from this rack here, from the rail. The honey comes out. It's so cool. And then over here we have some chocolate breads. The very nice croissants here, really nice. And then over here we have some nuts, so we can pin that and all the other stuff. And then over here, this is a closer look at the uh, Arnold's Castle, the uh, fourth castle in the row here. So the one from uh, Anna and Elsa. And then here we have some sandwiches. The Caesar salad. Avocado moss. Seasoned bread with uh, smoked duck. Canard filet. Donald will love it. And then here we have some desserts, like little glasses over here, beautiful. And here, I suppose that this must be Tiana. Here we have some frozen themed desserts with uh, Elsa on it, or a little snowflake, or even Sven. Look at this. And here we have the enchanted forest cake. And here we have some fresh fruit. What a great buffet. Let's try a few things. Good night. You have a wonderful day.
safe. Thank you. So, when you want to go to the park, and it's a really nice one, exclusively for members of the castle club, but when you want to go to the park, you can just push your elevator. There it is. And you can just choose over here parks entrance. And this elevator brings you straight to the parks entrance. This is so cool. Um, this is such an experience when you are staying in the castle club. Don't worry about queuing for the park. Don't worry. You are just there in two minutes. You will see. Here we are at the park's entrance. There's the park's entrance. And we can just enter the park over there. Um, and people are coming in from over there so this is so cool every time i'm staying in the castle club and this is my second time i have to do it i really have to use the elevator i know it's stupid but it's so cool there we go again and we go to the main lobby or we can of course go straight to our floor the fourth one We got the information from Inside the Earth and it was on social everywhere that Disneyland Paris was going to open a third restaurant with a famous French uh, chef and it will be over here at the Founders Club. Uh, but that's for another visit I think because it's uh, not open. It's also not confirmed officially which chef it will be. But uh, I can tell you already that the Founders Club is a really nice uh, place. Before we had some great experience over there, like for example, A Dream to Live, which was a cocktail in Café Fantasia, together with uh, a meal uh, in the Founders Club and champagne during the fireworks. So uh, probably we will have some formula like that one again. Uh, it was at 400 euros, so maybe now it will be more, but uh, it's not open, it's not for now. Oh God, I really can't get enough of this view. It's so beautiful, oh guys. Disneyland just woke up. We have no balcony, but from behind the window, it's, it's great. Time for breakfast. This is a little menu of all the nice things that they have um, the breakfast buffet of course a wide selection of uh, eggs scrambled non-scrambled it's just like you want uh, orange juice a great selection of coffees that's something for sophie Oh boy, I'm getting angry seeing this. Snow White, I forgot to ask you one question. In fact, what's your favorite dwarf? I one of the seven? Dwarf ends. you remember them? Uh, yeah, wait, uh, let me try. You have Happy, you have Sneezy, you have Sleepy, you have Bashful, you have Duck, you have Grumpy. And? Uh, uh, Do you remember Dopey? Oh, Dopey, yeah! yeah. Oh, How could I forgot? <laughs> Yeah. They're working in the diamond mine right now. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Are they at work right now? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So they are putting all the diamonds out? Yes. Oh, Sometimes nice. they find some jewelry. And you are here entertaining the guests during breakfast. Yes. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> but I have enough to, to bake them a gooseberry pie every morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that, is that, their, favor is that their, their favorite pie? Yes, it even brings a smile to Grumpy's face. Oh. <laughs> Even Grumpy smiling. Yes. Oh, I really want to see that picture once. Yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Let's have a look uh, on the breakfast buffet. So here we have different types of cornflakes. And 
then over here we have some sweet waffles with okay look that's cool there is a, a crown on it i really love the thematization of this buffet so pancakes and then sausages potatoes bacon scrambled eggs mushrooms yeah you know it's a, this is the regular stuff that you have on an american or Rich's breakfast. And then here we have. I really love this. This is so cool. It's mayonnaise with ketchup, but it's in all those little uh, jars. I really love it. There we have. Muta Royal. It's mustard. Here we have different types of um, meat and also. The halibut smoked salmon, a wide selection here of meat and chicken, chicken over here. And then a wide selection of cheeses, it's selected by Xavier Touré and gets some famous French cheese specialist, <laughs> how do we call it? Lord. What a buffet! Some sandwiches over here. And then here we have some little glasses with uh, desserts and put all the stuff inside here. Coconut, quinoa, exotic fruit. Oh, vegetarian. If that's still not enough, they can make you some omelets over here. So, this is the selection. And then, of course, you can boil your eggs in this one. And here, a selection of croissants, chocolate bread, more croissants. And here, you can toast your bread. Great selection of different types of bread. Also, here, look at this cake with the Fleur de Lis logo in it. What a buffet, no? This is also really cool. You can scrub the honey straight from this honeycomb, this raw honeycomb. So cool. Selection of hazelnuts. Berries. But I really love this one. This is, I've never seen it before. Cool. And if you want to, you can start your day by having a glass of champagne with some orange juice also in it, orange juice flavor. So you can have your own little champagne breakfast. Awesome. Hi, Aurora. How are you? Very good. It's lovely to see you all this morning. I hope we're having a good day so far. Yeah. Oh, I love your sparkly hair. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, just by floors, of course. And I love the flowers, too. I think they match it perfectly. Look, I have little flowers. Oh. Yes. Oh, wow. That's cool. Aren't they? Just like your earrings as well. <laughs> Having a good morning today. Oh, yeah. We're going to see this lovely. Oh, yes. And you have the perfect view of my castle. Oh, yes. It's so nice waking up with a view on your castle. Yes. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes. So lovely, isn't it? I'm glad you've all been having a good time here, though. 
Would you like me to say yeah. that for you? Do you like princesses? I do. Do you, do you have a favorite? Well, actually, you are my favorite. Is it me? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're very kind. <laughs> is pink one of your favorite colors? Yeah. Perhaps? My whole oh. room at home is also pink. It's pink as well? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we won't tell Mary whether or not there's no pink. No, <laughs> It'll be our little secret. <laughs> Shall we have a photo? Please stand here with me. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great day today. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hope to see you all once upon a dream. Have a good day. Bye. Look at this. Latte. Look at this. Coffee with a logo on it. The fleur de lis. Everything is just perfect in here this place is no words to describe it but this place is so cool so amazing this was the founders club the room i was talking about in my overview um it's now part of the breakfast room the break part of the lounge room the of the castle club but uh, they are opening a third restaurant here very soon, an exclusive one run by, it will be run by a famous French chef, but nobody knows who, um, with a great view, of course, balcony where you can have a little glass of champagne, watching the fireworks in the castle. But for now, it's still a breakfast room. Oh, look, Rapunzel is still, still there, still having fun with the guests during breakfast. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Let's have a look at all the great uh, surprises in our room, starting by this one. What a great gift, what a great souvenir. I uh, had something like, hey, I'm gonna buy this myself because I really love this plush. It's Mickey in his uh, royal outfit, in his outfit uh, from the hotel. And you can meet Mickey also uh, in this outfit at the Royal Banquet. So I had something like, I'm gonna buy it, but they gave it to me. So thank you, Disneyland Paris. I really appreciate it. This is a great gift. And besides that, there is also there was also the photo frame, the photo frame from the Disneyland Hotel. And it's also the one that they were sending to the first uh, 100 uh, bookings, I think, but I'm not quite sure. But um, it's a great souvenir. It's great to uh, have a great picture from uh, these three days to frame it in. Um, so thank you again, Disneyland Paris. And then here we have a waiver. At first sight, I have something like, hmm, there is nothing from the Disneyland Hotel on it. Um, but if you watch closer, then you can see all the little details like the pumpkin carriage and flowers. And they are also on this holder. And then here we have some chocolates. It's a book and when we open it, there are chocolates inside. So we are so spoiled by the hotel management, really. Okay, and here, that's some kind of game. I don't know how it's working, um, but it looks nice. Uh, I will figure it out once uh, we are home. And then we have this nice little card. Uh, dream big. Well, I'm sure we will dream big in this room. So. Thank you, Disneyland Paris. Thank you once again for all these great gifts. So that's it. That's it for our three days stay here, two nights in the Disneyland Hotel, uh, in the Castle Club. And boy, what a great experience we had. It was so much fun. This was, it's like a dream, you know. The Castle Club is in fact, it's a hotel in a hotel. It's great. We had a really great service, the breakfast together with the princesses, the afternoon tea time, the room, everything was just perfect. The view from our room, the view waking up with a view on Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty's castle, it was just a dream. I know it's a lot of money and for us it was a once in a lifetime opportunity uh, to do this, but uh, when you have the chance and when you have the opportunity to do it yourself, just do it. 
you won't regret. It's really a royal experience from start to end. So if this video was useful for you and you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you real soon here again in Disneyland Paris.